Hi everyone, how are you? Joe here and welcome to my part two in my Christmas 2018 series of getting ready and planning for Christmas 2018. So if you caught my video yesterday, you saw what I have in store for the foyer, which is Santa's office. And I went into some of the details that I'm uh, planning to uh, put in there. Of course, I left some things out because I want them to be a surprise for you when you do see it. Uh, today, I'm going to make a really quick video about what I'm planning to do in the family room. And the family room is going to be entitled Family Memories with cardinals as an inspiration. You know, cardinals are um, a bird that is often used during the Christmas season, and to many people, uh, it denotes that there may be an angel present or a spirit from the other side coming to say hello through the cardinal. And a lot of times, um, I'll see a cardinal in the yard and it's on a particular tree or a particular shrub and I always think it's my father sending me a message um, about something. Uh, sometimes when there's two of them I think of my mother and father but a lot of times I'll think of my father. Um, so this room is going to have a lot of cardinal inspiration in it and also what I'm planning to do this year is I'm taking family photographs of those family members of Marianne and myself that have passed on and I'm going to be making black and white copies of them and putting them in frames and I'm going to be putting them on the Christmas tree and also uh, within the room itself. So it's going to be very special kind of decoration and uh, that I think both of us will uh, have great feelings about. Um, I'm going to be using a lot of the woodlands and rustic um, ornaments that I basically use when I do the, the rustic tree, uh, but I'm going to be using it in a slightly different treatment this year, so it shouldn't look exactly the same. So like I did yesterday, I'm going to show you some quick sketches that I made for the family room. Just hold on a second while I put this on pause. It's not working yet. <laughs> okay, so you see I've entitled the family room Family Memories Using Cardinals as an Inspiration. And what I'm planning to do is I'm going to use a nine-foot Christmas tree in the corner. And it, it's pre-lit to white. But I'm going to add more white lights on it as well as red lights. And I'm also going to put some twinkling lights in it to give it a very mys mystical look. Now, this is a really just rough outline of, of what I'm planning for the tree. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding in pieces of garland that I am going to flock. And I'm going to do a tutorial on that. I'm going to show you how I do that. So the tree is going to become more white. It's going to look very white. Then, uh, and I do that first. And then I add the lights on top of that because I don't want that, you know, I don't want to put lights in and then put those things in and then it's going to cover the lights. I want the lights to be seen. Once I do that, I'm going to use red deco mesh on this tree. And I haven't used that in a while, but I think it's going to give that sparkle that I'm looking for in this tree. Um, I'm then going, going to use a big uh, birdhouse that I have right here. And I'm going to uh, do some work on the roof. I think I'm going to make it very glittery with red and whatnot. And I'm going to be using red ornaments as well as the amber ornaments that I usually use on the woodlands tree. And they're going to be deep within the tree. Now I am going to be using some of those rustic kind of ornaments on here only because it does go with this idea of the cardinals and whatnot. So you can see see here I have like cardinals interspersed throughout the tree. I have other smaller birdhouses interspersed throughout the tree. I'm going to use a lot of picks on here uh, to give it a very uh, feathery kind of a look. And as well, I am going to, on the top, I'm going to use a lot of red berries and I'm going to put red and a uh, ribbon that has cardinals on the ribbon itself. Um, 
And then you see these blocks right here. Those will represent uh, picture frames that I'm going to paint white and I'm going to put black and white photos. I'm going to make copies of certain photographs of my mother and father, Marianne's mother and father, our grandparents. Um, Marianne lost her uh, two sisters and brother and so on. And we're going to put those on this tree. Um, and then, of course, you know, I'm going to embellish it with a lot of other stuff. So it, it, it will be filled up with a lot of those things. You see here I have poinsettias. Um, and I have all my instructions around the outside so that I don't forget what I'm doing. Over on the mantle side, what I'm going to do is, on the mantle itself, I'm going to be doing the cascading garland, garland again. And I'm going to be using red ornaments with some red hanging ornaments and red beads as well. Candles on the sides and some stuff up here, which I don't know really what I'm going to do yet. Then these two are the windows that are on each side of the fireplace. What I'm doing is I'm taking down the curtains, I'm taking down the blinds, and I'm going to build in these bookshelves, which are going to, these are like, um, these windows have, um, it, it's out of my head right now what it's called, like the grill in it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the frame for the bookshelf and then right on the grill mark, the horizontal grill mark, I'm going to put shelves. Then on these shelves, I'm going to put our collection of Santas and angels as well as pictures of family on here and red things. And then on the top, I'm just going to use garland with some poinsettias, some red ornaments and uh did I say cardinals already? Yeah, cardinals. Okay, so, and then the whole back of it is going to be outlined with white mini lights so that it puts a soft glow onto all of these shelves. I'm a little blurry. Okay, so, um, and actually, I have to start building those shelves relatively quickly. So I think that's going to look really different. That's something different for us. And um, I think we're going to like that. It's going to be a really good conversation piece, not only with the Christmas collection of Santas and angels, but with the family pictures. And again, I wrote all my notes down here so my category brain won't forget them as I go from room to room, you know, uh, doing stuff. The sofa table, what I'm planning to do is I have this piece with some uh, rustic ducks on it and whatnot, and we're going to put that in the center. Uh, some uh, candle holders that are red, some other red things here. I'm going to use garland on the second and the third shelf with poinsettias and and, uh, Christmas ornaments and then on the coffee table itself I'm going to use a heavy green velvet with red velvet ends runner I'm going to put that on the coffee table I'm going to use that big lantern that I have on the dining room table now for the fall and I'm going to put a big ribbon on the top red with cardinals on it and then a couple of other things scattered around maybe with some ornaments in it or maybe a giant nest with cardinals in it I haven't really decided yet but and uh, in that room, I'm also going to use red pillows. So that's the plan for the family room. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll show you the plan for one of the other rooms. So I hope you're enjoying this process of me talking you through me of getting ready for Christmas 2018 and uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell so that you won't miss any videos I might have coming up. You don't want to miss my series and you don't want to miss when I start my tutorials on how I'm doing everything and someone asked me yesterday uh, or actually today but it'll be yesterday for you um, when I'm going to start. Usually I start decorating on October 10th. It used to be uh, October 1st. I moved it to October 10th and now I'm moving it to October 22nd. I think I can get done with what I have to get done and I plan to be done by Thanksgiving Day. So um, I hope you're enjoying this. Like I said, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a comment definitely if you have any questions and I'll be seeing you really soon with the next part. Bye-bye.